Hello YouTube and welcome to your first Java tutorial and uh, in this tutorial it's going to be real short and simple we're going to be creating a hello world application so I'm assuming that if you made it this far to my tutorials that you already have the JDK installed um, if you're on Mac then it comes pre-installed um, and you have Eclipse or some sort of Java compiler. Um, it'll be easier if you have Eclipse because you'll be able to follow along a lot better. So um, here's Eclipse right here, and um, the fr the one thing that you need to do need to do before we get started is go to Window Preferences and drop down General, drop down Editors, and drop down Text Editors, and click on Text Editors and make sure show line numbers is checked right there and then just once that's checked uh, click apply and then OK OK so now let's get started so we're gonna go to file new Java project we'll name it YouTube hello world just click finish and now what you want to do is for each of your projects you want to create a package where all of your classes are stored. You can use the default package, but then you've got a bunch of classes inside that package that have no uh, order to them. So go to File, New, Package. I'm just going to name mine YouTube because that's where I'm going to store all of my classes that are used for my YouTube tutorials. And um, now that we've created that, just go to File, New, Class, and this is where we're going to be typing our code. and click finish and it creates this class YouTube hello dot Java um, so you can see it uh, states what it tells you what package it's in and um, here's our public class YouTube hello um, so now we're gonna start off by making our main method um, every program in Java is always gonna start off with a main method because when it starts to compile the code and run it it's gonna say hey where's the main method that's where we're gonna start from and we're gonna follow the instructions from there so um, you need to go ahead and declare your main method so just go ahead and type in public static void main empty parentheses and inside of them type string args and then empty parameters then go ahead add your two curly braces and um, now we have our main method uh, you don't need to know what pu public static void main uh, string args means you just need to know that we're going to be using it in every single program uh, if you're curious go ahead and look it up on google there's plenty of websites that explain it um, but if you're an absolute beginner um, it's going to be really confusing when you try to um, look it up and figure out what it means But um, so now that we have our main method declared we're going to go ahead and um, uh, print out hello world on the screen now, unlike my Visual Basic.net tutorials where we make a GUI for all of our applications, Java is a, lip, uh, a bit more complicated, and we're going to be running our apps inside of the console, um, which uh, is just basically like running them inside command prompt. There's no, it doesn't create a window for them. Uh, we'll get into GUIs uh, later on tutorials, um, like 20 and 30 along that lines. Uh, this is the first one. So, we're going to go ahead and type system.out.println and inside of our empty uh, inside of our parentheses you're going to add two quotes and then hello world. And make sure you always end lines with a semicolon cuz then if you don't you're going to get errors and it's going to be really frustrating. Unlike visual basic.net um, you have to add semicolons in C++, Java, um, Objective-C, C, and a whole bunch of other languages. Um, I know it it makes it a little overly complicated. Well, not really, but um, it just makes it a pain, unlike .NET, where you don't have to. But um, just make sure you always end lines with semicolons. And um, so now when we run this, you can see it says, Hello World. And... Um, you just successfully made your first Java application. You can also type print, and what that does is it, it looks the same, but if we if we are gonna print something else out on the screen, system.out.print, and let's say we type the a whole bunch of letters, 
you're going to see that they come right after hello world and print when you do print line it ends the line and then whatever you type uh, whatever you display on the screen is going to be on the line under it so that's pretty much it for this tutorial look at this code get used to it and then move on to the next tutorial uh, please comment like and subscribe um, and thanks for watching